Now in this problem, we're also gonna create a confidence interval, but this is just a little bit different since we're given the actual data instead of a summary. It said, a food safety guideline is that the mercury in fish should be below one part per million. Listed below are the amounts of mercury found in tuna sushi sampled at different stores in a major city. Construct a 98% confidence interval estimate of the mean amount of mercury in the population. Does it appear that there is too much mercury in tuna sushi? Okay, so this time we're given the data. We're not given the mean of this data or the standard deviation. So what we could do is we could go ahead and open this up in StackCrunch. Now there's actually a couple ways that you could work this out. You could find out what the mean is and what the standard deviation is of this sample, but there's actually an easier way that you could work it out as well. So now in StackCrunch, so we're still gonna to go to the same spot. We're gonna to go to stat, and so we're, since we're trying to test the population mean, we're gonna to go to tstats. What we have here is one sample. And now instead of going to with summary, what we actually have is the data. So I'm gonna to go to with data, and now all I have to do is select my column. My column is the mercury. I'm gonna click on confidence interval. And then what was our confidence level here? 98%. So we have 0 0.98, we'll go ahead and show critical value, and now let's click on compute. So click on compute, and now I have my lower limit and my upper limit right over here. So my lower limit, rounding to three decimal places, I have 0 0.270, and then my upper limit, 1.164, 1.164. Now it's asking if there's too much mercury in tuna sushi. Well, it says the food safety guideline is that the mercury in fish should be below one part per million. Well, since one part per million is included in this confidence interval, that indicates that there is too much mercury in this sushi. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we know our answer is gonna be yes. It's either A or D. Let's see which one makes the most sense. Yes, because it, because it is possible that the mean is not greater than one. Well, we just figured out that it could be greater than one because our upper limit is 1.164. So our answer here would be D. Yes, because it, is, because it is possible that the mean is greater than one. Also, at least one of the sample values exceed one, so that the uh, so at least some of the fish have too much mercury.